What's up my people and welcome to the channel. This is SN95 Power. Well, well, we do things about uh, SN95 Mustangs. It doesn't matter if it's push rod or modular. Uh, this is what this channel is about. So today let's talk to um, all you vulture capitalists out there. Are you guys out there buying all those rare parts and you just sitting on them? The uh, SN95 had its share of rare parts that uh, you just can't find today. And uh, if you do, you know, you got to pay some um, pretty good money for that stuff. So this video is going to go over some parts uh, you might want to buy while you still can. I'll include Fox Body Parts for this video. I'm um, going to do this list in no, sort, no certain order. So, you know, I'm going to start off with a number one, but that's not the most viable part um so yeah let's let's get started into this but um what i'd like for you to do is uh to leave a comment um on the particular order of parts that you think are rare or if you have a list of parts go ahead and um drop them in the comment section number one is the ford racing 4.6 supercharger now this was a Ford Racing catalog part. You know the, uh, the old Ford Racing catalog part was like the the Christmas book for grown men back in the day. You know, uh, for a couple of years, Ford offered this as a um, aftermarket supercharger for the uh, PI head Mustangs. Uh, you know, for its time, it was an impressive supercharger with five psi of boost. It would take a PI motor to about. 298 crank horsepower and uh, with five pounds of boost it would you know kick that up to 383 so it was a uh, root style blower so you know torque is pretty much full at around 2000 rpms but with this uh supercharger it um really opened up the rpm band up top you know this thing would make that 383 horsepower well that's peak power. It averaged from articles I I remember. It averaged I think around five psi, something like that, and it made power close to six thousand RPM with the stock cams. So that is number one for us. Coming in at number two is the Roush intake. Now uh, Roush made these intake standards on the stage three ninety four ninety five Mustangs. It was a uh, three-piece design intake manifold, which bumped uh, horsepower about 40. Um, I, I think it was about 40, 40 horsepower. Uh, like I say, these things are like super rare. Like if you find one, you want to buy one, you better bring um, the bank with you. Uh, I remember last time I saw one on um, Marketplace where this guy was um, kind of trying to part the whole car out. I don't remember the price, you know, the car looked like it's been sitting for a while. It was, it was pretty rough. Uh, I don't remember the final price of what it sold for, but I think it was around the $1,000 range. Number three is um, the saline intake. Um, kind of known as a saline slash Vortec intake manifold. Now, this one is probably the holy grail of all intake manifolds. Um, this is so as part of the saline ssc kit uh, back in the day and this thing brings huge money on the market i think there's a one on ebay right now for around eighteen hundred dollars and it you know it looks kind of used so i couldn't imagine what a nice um polished one would cost but definitely something that's on the uh, upper scale of um rare parts Coming in at number four is the GT40 tubular intake manifold. Now I gotta flex a little bit with this because personally I um, found my GT40 intake at the junkyard on a Ford Explorer. So great investment for me. I paid $45 for it. Now 
in my opinion, not just because I have one, I think this is the uh, best looking intake to put on the um, small block. Uh, originally it came out on the uh, Ford Lightning, the uh, pushrod version of the Ford Lightning. Later Ford added it to the uh, parts catalog for a 5.0. These um, still, they still grab pretty good money on uh, Marketplace. You can still find these. They're not ultra rare, but I would say on average, you can find these things for $500. Now, Stan, with a GT40 theme, we have the plaque. Up next at number six, we have the billet slash SVO intake manifold. Now, I gotta say, I don't, think I've ever seen a uh, um, SVO intake manifold and I think those are a little bit more rarer than the um, billet intake manifold. The uh, SVO intake manifold was basically released for the NPI heads and um, the billet one was basically you know for PI heads. Um, like I said I can't remember seeing the SVO intake but I know the uh, billet ones go for about 700 right now. So number seven, we have export tail lights. Now, if uh, you didn't buy a pair of export tail lights some years ago, you're going to pay premium prices for them right now. Uh, for a mint pair of um, exports with no damage, look to pay around seven hundred dollars. The thing is, these uh, tail lights had like a amber colored turn signal marker. Uh, which was basically needed for Ford to sell these on the global market. So that's one of the um, differences on the export tail light. If you want to know any other differences about export tail lights, or if you want to know if you should buy some exports, I have some videos on my channel about that. So go check them out. Coming in at number eight, we have the 9495 Kenny Bell Supercharger. You know, at one time I would see these things for sale kind of often, um, but now you hardly see them. You see um, like the Fox body version of this, which you can put them on SN95s. Uh, I think you have to change the timing cover. And it's a couple of other things because I think the snout is a little bit longer on the Fox bodies. Those are kind of, you know, the general differences between the two. But I think the thing has got the Kenny Bell has kind of like um, came back in style a little bit because there's a company selling brand new Kenny Bell superchargers for the Fox bodies. And if you want one real bad, brand new, they're $4,500. Now, for the SN95 ones, I remember I used to see those for around $2,500. And they don't pop up often. So if they do, and you want one, I suggest you pull the trigger right away. So number, um, let's see, what number are we on? Number nine, export side mirrors. Now, people go crazy over this export stuff, you know? You have the mirrors and the, um, the tail lights not so much the fender flares. I don't think the fender flares really um, have gained popularity here, but for a pair of um, with these uh, folding mirrors, I've seen them online for around $500. You know, I have seen somebody with folding mirrors at a car show, and I can't say it's noticeable um, when you see it up front, as opposed to, you know, another SN95 there, you know, right next to it. You know, that's something that's very noticeable. So if, if you're trying to be different, then that $500 might be worth it to you. And last, but certainly not least, is um, number 10. That's the, uh, the real SVO side skirts. It's another Ford, uh, another Ford SVO catalog part. Uh, you have companies selling these knockoffs right now, but it's pretty easy to tell, like um, a knockoff from a real SVO um, side skirt. Now, personally, I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for mine. This was um, some new old stock that the guy had. You know, um, definitely pricing is all over the place, all over the place on these because. 
they're real easy to chip or crack so you know like i said i paid 350 my for, for mine they're basically brand new i've seen some for a hundred dollars 150 bucks but they're pretty raggedy so that's my um list of rare parts if you um have a chance to buy any of this stuff off this list i think you should take advantage of it prices are only going to go up on this stuff and um you know, are you going to be a millionaire off of um, holding on to a, you know, a SVO supercharger? No, but it, I kind of think it's a cool factor. You know, I have um, a Downs um, box intake that I'm holding on to, and I have a bunch of like 94, 95 Mustang parts. Like, you know, that stuff made the list because it's not sexy, but if you ever are like, in the junkyard, you know, looking for stuff and you happen to come across a 94 or 95 Mustang, just start taking stuff off of it. Because a lot of that stuff you cannot buy even like um, a third party or, or, or aftermarket vendor, like a, the throttle cable. You can't find a throttle cable for that um, 94, 95 Mustang. The, um, the power steering bracket and the um, the alternator bracket that's stuff that you can't buy new so you know that kind of stuff is going to start going up in price so i have a collection of that stuff i actually helped uh one of my um instagram um followers um somebody i follow too and he needed a um, power steering pump pulley you know i found that at the junkyard you know being that you know he was part of the s95 instagram community I gave him a pretty good price, but you know, you see those online for upward of a hundred dollars. Just it's a power steering pulley, you know, stuff like that. The um, the crank pulley on that, you know, that has a, an adapter. You know, those I've seen for like a hundred and fifty dollars. So that's something that doesn't cost an arm and a leg now. If you're looking at holding on to stuff and maybe um, selling later. That ninety four ninety five stuff. So go grab it unless you're in my area. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, you know, um, show me a little support. Give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. You know, we're doing different things on this channel. Um, and also, we're doing some different things on my Instagram page. We are doing write-ups on SN95 Mustangs from 94 to... 04 is what I call the SN95 Mustang. So um, go over to my Instagram page at SN95 Power and follow me. If you want your Mustang um, featured on there, send me a DM. So um, like I say, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you and God bless.